Right. You can keep the binny on, you look great. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dom with Pi TV. With three days left until the UK heads to the polls, we're here at UCL today to find out what issues matter most to students this election. Do you plan on voting in the upcoming general election? I do. I do. I do, yeah. I do. I do plan on voting, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. I do plan on voting. My dad is making me vote, like, definitely, so. Good on him. Yeah, I've already done my postal vote. Oh, by postal vote? I've actually already voted um, oh. by postal vote about a week ago. I personally can't because I'm not a British citizen. Oh, no. Do you wish that you could vote in this election? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have a voice. What issues are going to matter most to you when you get to the polling station? There's a number of issues that are important to me, dealing with the Brexit issue that I think is very important. Brexit. 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 Brexit, mostly. Brexit is a big issue. And obviously Brexit. Brexit. Quick close to the whole Brexit thing. Brexit is kind of the obvious one, just as an EU citizen, it kind of impacts me directly. Brexit. <laughs> I reckon everyone's probably said that. How it's just taken up most of British politics for such a long time. Also kind of like healthcare, making sure the NHS keeps getting their funding. Probably NHS. The NHS. The NHS. The NHS. The health system. Uh, the healthcare system. Healthcare, things like that. Probably mostly NHS. Um, NHS, schooling. Making sure we're looking after the environment. The climate crisis as well. For their environment environmental outlook climate change environmental issues environment <laughs> yeah child poverty use of food banks homelessness homelessness helping the homeless the housing issue social housing social provisions the distribution of funds in like local areas because there's been a lot of cuts recently nationalization i personally don't like boris johnson <laughs> tax raises for corporations higher taxes as in you want to reduce taxes raise taxes raise, raise 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 on everyone the rich tax the rich Anything that affects us as a student, so tuition. Since we're students, maybe like tuition fees. Probably tuition fees. I think future university education for like people like me. It's hard to pay like stuff like student finance off. And just kind of basic kind of human decency. Just making a better country for the majority of people who live in it. Just general well-being for everyone. Things like that. <laughs> a number of things really. Voting reform. Probably working around the weird electoral system. Why is that important to you? I think at the moment under the current system, so many people's votes go... Not wasted but they don't take into effect you know you could have someone with 30 percent of the vote in a constituency representing 100 percent of the population there is a lot of tactical voting to be done i think do you wish that more people cared about voting reform what's important for one person may not be important for them so i think it's important for people to make their own decision do you think that like the issues that matter most to you are the issues that are going to matter most to other ucl students yeah, I'd think so. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Do you think that generally your priorities are in line with the priorities of other UCL students? Um, I think a lot of them, yeah. I hope so. I, I, I should hope that UCL students have like a more global outlook. There is quite a high chance of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I'd hope so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd think so. I'd like to think so, but I don't know. Maybe not the Boris Johnson one. <laughs> I think with students, it's a bit more around inequality, and I think people are a bit more wise to that. In terms of general moral standards, yeah. Walking around UCL, everyone seems to kind of have their priorities yeah. straight, but... I, maybe yeah. they're just the people I'm surrounding yeah. myself with. I think we do have a very diverse range of people in UCL who have a lot of different priorities. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we have a specific consensus either. I'm sure. I'm sure they are. I mean, who wouldn't care about making our country a better place? Very true. Do you think that your priorities are in line with the priorities of UCL students generally? Mm, no, I don't think so. Why is that? I feel like UCL is quite right wing. Really? Because that's interesting. We've had a lot of people saying that UCL is quite like a liberal I university. My friends are. Like most of my friends are left wing and like Labour definitely. But then there's some people, I'm not going to say who. <laughs> if there was one issue that you think is the most important to UCL students on campus, what would you say it is? Ooh. Mm. Um. Oh, um, uh, that's a good one. That's a good question. Um, For UCL students. I think for UCL students, given that we've got such like an international student body, I think perhaps Brexit. Probably Brexit. Probably say Brexit. Brexit. Yeah. Probably Brexit, but also since for students, probably also like the climate change environmental crisis. I think climate crisis is quite a big issue that I talk about with people who I know. Issues surrounding the environment. I think probably student debt, right? That's yeah. really a massive deal for everyone. I suppose tuition fees. Student loans, student finance. What's going to happen about tuition fees? Are they going to stay the same or go down? Just stopping the Tories. <laughs> I probably think it will be like the NHS. Probably healthcare. I think. I think healthcare. Everybody uses it. Everybody will, like will be angry if like it was to be privatized and everything. I think uh, a lot of UCL students think about workers' rights. I don't know if that's right, but that's my impression. We don't know either. Probably education, I'd say. Like tuition fees? fees and the NHS, obviously, and Brexit. A lot of people.
problems, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think Brexit takes a back seat when it comes to students? I think probably. Yes, it's obviously important and I think everyone votes in line with that. However, I think people look slightly wider. Do you think that Brexit is going to be the most important issue to most UCL students? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I definitely do. So would you say that Brexit is the number one issue for most people on campus? Oh, I don't I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't actually say so. No, I'd say I for me personally I'd say the healthcare is a higher priority for university students overall. I think people are mainly looking at Brexit and they're not actually then thinking, "Oh wait, we're going to then after Brexit have this person in charge for another 4 years." Like you have to think just past Brexit, which mm -hmm. I think a lot of people including myself like aren't always doing. So do you have an idea of who you're going to vote for already? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Would you give an indication of who that is? I'm geared towards the Labour Party. Yeah, Labour. Probably Labour. Yeah, I would vote for Labour too. Labour. I voted Labour. Cool, got it. <laughs> Which may surprise you. So, <laughs> I, I, get, I get the feeling that you have a party in mind that you plan to vote for. Yeah, I do. Would you go so far as to say? Labour. So if you could vote, it would be for Labour? I'd vote Labour. <laughs> well, there we have it, folks. I will probably be voting Lib Dem. The Liberal Democrats. Not looked into it as much as I'd like to, so I'm going to before I vote, but I've got somewhat of an idea, yeah. I don't, which is the reason for my reading for the next two or three days. I'm still kind of reading all the manifestos. I've still not really decided my own vote. I don't like to be swayed by anyone else's opinion. I like to make form my own opinions based on manifesto reading, so I'm going to do that. Similar, I'm, I'm undecided, so I can't really give an answer until I've properly decided. Uh, I'm still very indecisive. I'm finding it really difficult because there are so many factors that influence this vote. I'm voting Labour. May I ask why? My views mostly align with the manifesto of the Labour Party. R ends with R. Okay, starts with L, ends with R. Okay, are you voting for that party because you personally identify with them or is it more a tactical vote? I think I personally identify with them. So it's not a tactical vote in any way, it's a true support of Labour? It's a tactical vote as much as I think any way to get the Conservatives out and get Boris out is the most important thing. Sure, so anything but the Tories essentially? Yeah, but within that Labour is kind right. of where I stand anyway, so okay. yeah. You're voting Lib Dem, is that a tactical vote or are they your preferred party? It's both. I think a bit, a little bit of both. Right. What do you think of the trend of a lot of young people engaging in very serious tactical voting in this election? Again, I think it highlights the problem of our voting system. What is the issue surrounding the voting system in this country? You can't really vote for who, who you agree with most. You have to vote for someone who you hate le least, I guess, out of the possibilities that, that are given to you. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like my vote will be representative of, of my views. Would you say then that your vote will be for the lesser of two evils then? Yes. I think it's the lesser of the two evils. What party do you plan on voting for? Labour. If you could, would you vote for another party? Yes. What party would you vote for if you could? Probably the Lib Dems or the Greens. I don't know. I would rather vote for anyone except for who's in office now. Anyone but Boris, <laughs> right. essentially. I was battling between, obviously, Boris and Jeremy for a while. But I think it would definitely be Jeremy Corbyn. Boris Johnson doesn't seem too trustworthy for me. Is there another party that you align yourself more with that you wish you could vote for? It would be Conservatives if it wasn't for um, Boris Johnson. It would be Conservatives for the reasons of, kind of the economy being fruitful and that making society fruitful as well. But it's just the fact that it seems to be much more common. It's getting worse about the disparity between kind of social classes, the rich getting richer and the poor getting poorer, which was my main concern and probably the reason why I'm going to vote for Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. Are you a fan of Jeremy Corbyn? That's a quite, oh, that's quite a big question. It's yeah, it's quite a loaded question. Um, to an extent. I think that there are some views that he stands for that uh, can be kind of questioned, but I think the majority of what he's laying out as the manifesto is quite strong. What issues are going to matter most to you when you cast your vote? Uh, Labour's institutional anti-Semitism. Okay, so is is that going to steer you away from voting Labour? Yes. Do you know who you're going to vote for instead then? Uh, Boris. You're going to vote for the Tories? Yes. Are there any policies of the Tories specifically that attract you, or is it purely the issue of anti-Semitism? Primarily the issue of anti-Semitism, but I agree with more of the Tories' Brexit policy than Labour's Brexit mm -hmm. policy. Do you think that your priorities and your values are in line with the values of most UCL students? No. Can you expand on that? I think it's fair to say that the majority of the UCL student body is highly liberal, mm -hmm. and I don't think I would agree with most of their the views on certain subjects. Mm. Do you wish that people took Labour's anti-Semitism allegations more into account in their vote? A hundred percent, yes. When 47% of British Jews seriously are considering leaving the country, if Corbyn is elected, I think anybody should take that into account. What's your source for that? Um, 
I don't have it on me, but you can look it up. Okay. Yeah. You need to be as informed as possible, even if you're reading kind of your other side's opinion, because you never know, maybe you kind of misinterpreting what they're saying, etc. It's important to be as informed as possible. What kind of information are you sourcing for yourself to make up your decision? Social media has a lot of targeted propaganda, so I try not to do that. Reddit's actually quite good because it's got a lot of different streams. Obviously, yeah, online, I know there are quite a few YouTube channels. A good one I w watch a lot is TLDR mm -hmm. News. Yeah. So they summarize all the manifestos for you. So I'd probably be um, watching those, maybe reading around them, and then voting from there. Discussing with friends really helps because you can see what they learn and how they learned it, and then you could read the articles that they learned. And, yeah. yeah. So as we've seen, the most important issues for most UCL students on campus were the NHS, Brexit and student finance, which came out on top over the environmental crisis and issues of voting reform. Whichever way you plan on voting, make sure you do your research and take into account the issues which matter most to you. And above all, vote. Okay, great, that's it. Okay, great, thank you. Great, okay, great, great, that's all. Cool. Yeah, great, much. great, that's all. Great, great, that's all. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, great, that's all. <laughs> great, great, okay. <laughs>